This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. While working in AutoCAD, there are many things that you need to be aware of. The status bar is a sort of billboard that will display this information, making you aware of certain settings. It's located at the bottom of the screen and stretches all the way across. Right here. This is your status bar. Starting on the left side, you will find the drawing coordinates. These are the current coordinates for where your crosshairs are located. AutoCAD works in a Cartesian coordinate system to keep track of where you are in the file and where your objects are. To help you keep track of your position, the status bar will display your current coordinates. If you need to determine the coordinates of an object in your drawing, place your crosshairs on it and look at the status bar. As you move the crosshairs around, notice the coordinates are constantly updating for the current position. Next are your toggle status icons. If they are highlighted, in this case they have a bluish tint to them, that means they're turned on. Gray means they're turned off. To toggle these settings on or off, you can use the appropriate function key or just click on the status icon. Right click on these icons to get to their setting controls, etc. Next you will find the toggle for the model space and paper space. It currently says model, so that means that you are in model space. I clicked it, and that switched us to paper space. Clicking it will change again which drawing space you are in. The next icon is the quick view layouts. We'll talk more about this a little bit later on, but it quickly shows you views of the layouts in your file. Close it. Click the X. Next is the Quick View Drawings option. This is very similar to the Quick View Layouts, only it will show you a preview of all the drawings you have open. I only have one drawing open at the time. And here are my layouts. This is the Pan button. It's another way to get to the Pan function. Zoom. This is the steering wheel. Well, the steering wheel is a bit more difficult to use. What it is, is a way to navigate through your drawings. You can click on the appropriate text to execute the command that you want. The command that you have activated will be displayed. To close it, exit out. This is the show motion icon. This is something we're not going to get into at this time, but it is a form of animation that you can use in AutoCAD. This is your maximized viewports. This is only available when you're in paper space. And it will maximize the viewport so that you can draw in it from a full size screen. We'll talk more about viewports and their functions later on in the series. The rest of these icons here we're not going to get into at this time. They have to do with annotation scaling and they are very difficult and we will not overwhelm you at this point in your learning process with what they do. Next you have again your workspace switching, your plotting status, and your clean screen button. This is a very handy tool. It wipes everything off. It cleans your screen so that you can maximize your drawing potential. Just hit Control Zero to turn it back on or off. The status bar visually informs you of which settings are on or off. It also gives you easy access to all of the control settings of these functions.